Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at a new release of a scamp board, and it's called a Scamp 2E, and it's mounted on my breadboard. So it has a PIC microcontroller running flash forth on board. So here's the original Scamp 2 board. So now on the Scamp 2E, the LED array and driver chip have been removed, but an RS-45 chip has been added, which you can see here. So now this board, the Scamp 2E, is going to become a communication board because it has serial UART, it has I squared C, it has SPI, now it has RS-45, which is basically a differential UART, for long distance communication. It has high noise immunity, it runs on a twisted pair, which you can see here, and it's half duplex. Now your cell phone is a full duplex device, because when you're talking to somebody on your cell phone, you could actually interrupt them. But if you look at a handheld portable radio, a walkie-talkie type, this is a half duplex device, so it's similar to an RS-45, because if you look on the side, there's a switch, it's called a push to talk switch. So if I want to talk, I press this button, so it's push to talk and release to listen. So you have to synchronize the talking and listening with your other party. So when you're pressing to talk, if the other party presses to talk, nothing's going to go through. So you got to synchronize. And a lot of times you hear people when they're finished speaking a sentence, they say over. That indicates that they're going to release. And now the other person could start talking and it will receive that conversation. Okay, in this video, I'm going to run some demo programs to demonstrate RS-45 code. And so I have my scamp 2 e connected up to an RS-45 device, and this is my LoRa radio. And on the bottom, it has an RS-45 input, you can see there. So I have the AB output of the scamp 2 e connected up to this terminal block, and then I have a twisted pair running over to the LoRa radio. So I'll write some code and we'll send some data from the scamp 2 e into the LoRa radio and transmit some data over the air. Okay, I have a couple of demo programs that I'm going to run on the scamp 2 e board demonstrating RS-45. So I have the scamp 2 e board connected up to my LoRa radio and I'm going to take the ambient temperature using this temperature sensor here and I'm going to send it to the LoRa radio and we're going to transmit it every three seconds. So I'll run that program and I have a radio on so you'll, you'll be able to hear the transmissions uh, being sent by the LoRa radio. Mm. You can see the TX light come on. Mm. And you can hear it's being transmitted every three seconds. Mm. And I have a field strength meter. Mm. You can actually see the RF. Mm. So next I'll run this second demo program. Mm. It's called LoRa Alarm. Mm. It's actually going to be a temperature alarm. Okay, my next demo program using RS-485. It's called LoRa Alarm. So I'm going to take an ambient temperature measurement using the temperature sensor. And this LED indicates it's taking a measurement every time it blinks. And if the temperature drops below zero degrees C, it's, we're going to get an alarm. And it's going to send that alarm over the LoRa radio. You'll be able to hear it in the, on the receiver. So I have some cold spray. That's going to be my trigger. So I could trigger the sensor and you'll see the alarm, you'll hear the alarm. Mm. Mm. So it's sending the alarm mm. because it's below zero degrees C mm. and when it warms up mm. the alarm will stop. She warmed up so it's above C, zero degrees C. So I'll do it again. Mm. Mm. So she's triggering. Mm. If I warm it up, if mm. I force it, goes above zero degrees C and the alarm shuts off. Okay, here's the two demo programs that I had up and running on the scamp 2 e board and they're written in Flashforth. So the first one is called LoRa.temp. So that takes the ambient temperature and sends it over the LoRa radio every three seconds. So the first thing we do, we set up the RS-45 baud rate port to 9600 baud to match the LoRa radio. Then we go into a begin until loop. So this is a continuous loop until we hit any key on the keyboard Then it comes out of this loop. So when we run to LoRa, everything that's in quotes, like we see here, will be redirected over the RS-45 port to the LoRa radio. Then we put it into talk mode, like that's press to talk, like on a walkie-talkie, so now it's in talk mode. So all this will be sent over the LoRa radio, so we'll take the temperature, it drops off the fractional, keeps the integer, and it prints it, and that will be sent every three seconds. Then we go to listen, that's release to listen, and we redirect everything now to the console, and then we go back up 
to the beginning again and we do it all over again. So we do that every three seconds. So it's sending the temperature every three seconds over the LoRa radio. Now the next program, it's called LoRa Alarm. So it senses the temperature and if it goes below zero, it's gonna send out an alarm. So we do the same thing. We set up the baud rate for the RS45 port and we go into a loop, begin, begin until, until we hit a key. And same sort of idea, we redirect everything that's in quotes over the RS45 link. We blinked LED, that means we're taking a temperature measurement. Here we take the measurement and we'll get an integer and fractional back. We drop off the fractional and we compare it to zero. If it's below zero, that means it's alarming. We go into talk mode and we send the temperature over the lower radio. And we wait two seconds and we go to listen. That's, that's like uh, on your walkie-talkie. It's released to listen. Then we go back up to the beginning again, and we do the same thing. We blink the LED, and we take the temperature. Now when it goes above zero, it's not going to go into this, this part of the program, and she'll come out, and the alarm will be uh, shut off. So that's the two uh, programs that we had running. So now you get to know how to run an RS-45 on a SCAM2E board. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how to write code to get the RS-45 port up and running on the SCAM2E board. So if you have a device that's uh, 485 compatible, now you can get your project up and running.